You know, I was watching this Billy Joel video. Um, it was uh, an interview with uh, Charles Rose. It was like, I think, 1993 when he put out the River of Dreams album. And you know, he really just said some things that were just so like insightful and really made me feel better, honestly. Because you know what it is? You know, this whole thing that happened to us with AMC, I think it shook a lot of us up. It certainly shook me up, you know. Um, I'm about to go into the shower here. Yeah, that's why you're probably looking at me like you hairy gorilla. But <laughs> try to just listen to my voice and not focus on my hair, my, my gorilla hair. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, he was just saying like, okay, so he was very upset at himself for his really terrible judgment because he put all of his faith in Frank Weber. This was his uh, first wife, Elizabeth's brother, is his brother-in-law, who even after his divorce with his first wife, stood on as his manager, stood on, he actually became power of attorney of all of Billy Joel's finances, but Billy had complete faith in him, you know, just thought of him as his like best friend and, you know, someone he could trust everything with. And, you know, it turned out, unfortunately, terrible. This guy just, you know, took all of Billy Joel's money, basically, you know, made bad investments for him and used his money to co-sign things I, from what I read for himself and, it just, I think Billy lost somewhere between $90 million or more. It was like something crazy. It was like some crazy, it was out of like dumb and dumber. You know, he had a safe deposit box with all this money in it. And this guy just like kept took, taking all the money out for whatever reason, investments or personal things. And he had complete power of attorney to do this. And he would kind of put like IOUs, like IOU 200,000, IOU 500,000, whatever it is. So Billy Joel got a shock. You know, and this is now midlife when he's like my age, you know, at the time, like, you know, 40, you know, whatever it is, 44, 45, I'm 46, but around the same age. And, you know, you kind of think to yourself, how could I have such terrible judgment? How could I make these mistakes? But you know what? He he persevered, you know, he got strong. He learned from this mistake. He worked really, really hard. And now, you know, he's doing better than ever, you know what I mean? And so it just goes to show you, look, we could all make mistakes, it's okay. We shouldn't really beat ourselves up over it too much. Um, I tend to do that. I tend to beat myself up when I make a mistake. And I did make a mistake <laughs> with AMC. And I just tend to really, really beat myself up. But you gotta learn from your mistakes. It's part of life. Making mistakes is part of life. It's part of growing up, it's part of maturing. You know, even, you know, you, you know, when you're midlife, you may think you know it all, but you, 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 you find out very quickly you don't. And it's okay, though. It's okay. People learn new things every day at all ages. You know, I remember I had a piano student, you know, she was like a Giselle. That was her name. She was like 77 years old. She, her husband passed away. And she would say to me, you know, Rich, I want to take piano lessons, you know, but I think I'm too old. And I said to him, no, 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 no. I said, age doesn't mean anything. It's just all about your dedication and your and your drive and your passion. And she really took the piano lesson seriously and she practiced every day. And she went on to become a great piano player. And it just goes to show you, you can learn something at any age and there's no, there's no limits. It's all about limits of just your own ambition and, and drive to succeed. And we, we, we have to learn though. That's the thing. I feel we have to learn from our mistakes in order to grow in life. It's certainly important to not repeat the same mistakes anymore. You know, you got to learn from it and you got to just take each, you know, just chapter in your life and you, you try to expand in a positive way. You know, you're probably like you're expanding with your weight in a, in a big way, <laughs> but you, you expanding your life's experience in a positive way. So I think making mistakes might be an essential part of getting to heaven. You know, there's that old expression, you have to go through, uh, I hate to use the word, you know, hell, H-E-L-L. -L. You got to go through hell to get to heaven. And um, sometimes I actually think that's true in, in a lot of aspects of life. You know what I mean? So I, I just thought this was an interesting video. Thank you, Billy Joel. Video is not financial advice, not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.